Hey Jacob, how fast can you run? This fast. I've said in Newton's first law, an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. In this case, Jacob was the object in motion and that conveniently placed shoe was the unbalanced force. Jacob was running since he was the object in motion, and as he was running, he came across the unbalanced force which acted upon him and caused him to stop moving suddenly, making him fall. In the other video, it was an object in motion being acted upon by an unbalanced force. In this case, it was the exact opposite. It was an object at rest being acted upon by an unbalanced force. The golf ball was the object at rest, and the uh, golf club was the object in motion. The golf ball was sitting there, and the unbalanced force was um, swung and acted upon the golf ball, making it move suddenly. In the video, I pushed the two objects with roughly the same amount of force, but they didn't move the same speed. Why is this? It's because the smaller object had a lot less mass than the larger one. Because of this, it is a lot easier to move, and moves a lot quicker than the larger one. For example... Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. For example, if one person were to run up and... As I was saying, if one person were to push another, that applied force would cause the person being pushed to move in that direction. Meanwhile, the person who will push that other person would be receiving that same amount of force. When a tennis ball is dropped and hit the ground and applying a certain amount of force to it, the ground applied that same amount of force to the much smaller tennis ball. This caused the tennis ball to go right back up. Due to air resistance and friction, the ball eventually stopped going as high each time, started slowing down, and eventually just stops. 